Hello friends, I'm Parways and in this video I'm going to show you that how you can create a simple IP finder in Django. Okay, now these are the information about my IP address. Now if I uh, change this to... So, let me change this to... Now you can see that this is the information about this IP address. So, city location. Uh, IP country and this is the language, uh, latitude information, longitude information and uh, so the calling code, currency and also uh, different information. Now let's just create this. Okay first of all we need to create a Django project so you can write Django admin start project. Now uh, if you're not familiar with the Django, I have a complete video about 3 hours training on Django. I have added the link to the video description, you can check that. So Django admin start project and you can give a name to your project. So for example, IP finder. Okay guys, now my project is created and if you see now this is my Django project. After that I'm going to just change directory to IP finder project and I'm going to create an app. So I can just say python manage.py start app and you can give a name for your app. Uh, so I'm going to just give it IP app. Now my app is created and you can see that this is my app. So the first thing I need I'm going to just open uh, so this is my project and this is my app. I'm going to open views.py. Uh, so the first thing you need, because we're using IP API library, so you need to install that. You can just use pip install IP API and it will be installed. So after installation, we need to import this. So we are going to just say import IP API. Okay, now we're going to create our uh, view function. So I'm going to just call it index so request uh, so for right now I'm going to just return uh, I'm going to uh, just re uh, render my uh, template uh, right now I haven't created the template which I'm going to create so now in your project in the IP finder you need to just create a new directory and we need to call it templates now in the templates we need to just create a base.html and also uh, index.html so after creating of the html files uh, now because we're using a template inheritance uh, now I need to just create some blocks in here so uh, block title and I need to just end the block so end block and for the body also I'm going to just create block body also in the block uh, now in the index.html we are going to just create uh, first we need to extend this so extends base.html and now in the block title we need to add the title of the page so it is uh, Django or we can just say IP finder and we need to end the block and in the block body so block body uh, this is the place that we are going to add the content of our body so we need to end block uh, for right now, I'm going to just add an H1 tag in here, Django IP Finder. So now we need to add our URL uh, URL routes. Uh, so the first thing we need, uh, if you see in our Django project, we have a URLs.py. Uh, let me just remove these. Uh, so in the in our app in the IP app we are going to create a new URLs so I'm going to just call it URLs now and here we need to include the URL our app URL 
so we're going to just add include in here and uh, uh, let me just copy this uh, so this is uh, index and include and our it is IP app dot URLs now let me just copy this and add this in our IP app dot URLs uh, we don't need this at main and uh, we don't need this include and let me remove this also uh, we just uh, need so from dot views we are going to import index and in here we are going to add index and also you can add a name here so index uh, right now if I run this uh, I will receive error uh, because I need to add this templates now let me just run this and show you okay so now I can just uh, say Python manage .py, run server okay now if I go to localhost 8000 uh, so you can see that I'm receiving template does not exist now we have created our templates now we need to tell Django that uh, this is the location of our templates uh, for this you need to open uh, settings.py and uh, from here uh, in the so in here in the dirt section we need to add templates like now we can save our project and now we are going to check this again so the project is reloading and now we are going to check this so now we can see that we are receiving Django IP finder uh, so after uh, doing this now we are going to open so first we need because we are using bootstrap styles and we need to add bootstrap CDN link so I'm going to just uh, uh, copy this from the bootstrap website open your base.html and in here we need to paste this link so after this now uh, I'm going to open my index.html and uh, so uh, the first thing I need I'm going to just create a diff class uh, container in here so uh, so diff class container and okay and here we are going to just create a br br tag and uh, uh, also let me add this br at the top like this so after this we need to create our form action so form action and uh, the method is post uh, because we are working with the form uh, let me just add a csrf underscore token uh, so after adding this we are going to just create diff class uh, form group now in here we need to create our input type so input type text and uh, the classes form control and uh, the name is search also we need to add a placeholder for this and this is enter IP address uh, so also because uh, also we need a submit button in here uh, let me just create that input type submit and the class is btn btn primary uh, 
and the value is uh, for example search uh, okay now let's just refresh our page okay now you can see that we have our uh, text input with the search button uh, now uh, open the views.py and we have imported our IP API and in here we are going to create our uh, IP location search so the first thing we need we need to get uh, the input from the user so we're going to just say uh, search request dot request dot post dot get and we can just say search so it is uh, the name of the search input field that we have uh, created in here so it's search and after doing that we are going to just create a data uh, we need to get the location so we can just say IP API dot location and in here you need to add your IP so it is search and also we need to add our output so we are using uh, JSON so the output is JSON okay now we're going to now we are going to send this data to the index.html for that we are going to just create a context and now we are going to just say data data and we are going to add the context in here so now you need to open your index.html the first thing you need uh, you need to add uh, your URL in here so URL and this is our, our URL name is index and uh, now we can uh, get the, uh, our information in here about uh, uh, IP location so first I'm going to just add BR tag in here so BR BR uh, so first we are going to get the IP address is and in here we are going to just add data.ip so also we are going to just use uh, let me just also show the CT uh, in here we can just say CT location uh, is and this is CT now let's save this and check this And now we're going to refresh our page and uh, you will see the information now you can see that this is the IP address and this is uh, the CT location uh, also you can get more information like uh, for example uh, uh, you can just say IP country is so IP uh, country is and you can just say uh, in here country now you can save this and okay now you can see that this is the IP country now let me just pause the video and add all the information about the IP in here so now you can see that these are the information uh, this is the language data dot language this is the latitude data dot latitude and this is the uh, so longitude uh, data dot longitude data dot time zone uh, country calling code currency org and uh, postal so these are the different information now uh, we're going to save this and now let's refresh our page and you can see that these are the complete information uh, so now if I change this to uh, another IP and this time we are going to search an IP so now let me just search this now you can see that this is the IP country Japan and this is the language this is the uh, the time zone and this is the UTC offset uh, now 
there's another website and here we have used IPPI library now you can directly use this website and you can see that in here this is the IP address that I have and these are the information now if I copy this and add this in here and uh, so so this is the IP address so you can see that this is the uh, city is uh, now this is the IP address and this is the region this is the country is Japan now you can see that we are receiving the same information the IP country and also uh, more information now let me just refresh this and let me check my IP address now if I add my IP address in here and uh, in the IP lookup let me just so you can see that these are the information in here and if you check this in here you can see that the same information we have uh, in here so like this you can work with the IP finder library now if you have any question please let me know I will add source code uh, in the video description uh, please subscribe to my channel like the video and also share the video